Hello and welcome to another installment of our quote series where we discuss some famous quote and how it may relate to the infinite banking concept as conceived and described by R. Nelson Nash in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker. Today's quote is, I'm waiting for my ship to come in. Now, this quote I've definitely heard before. One of my favorite childhood books was about the seas, a ship, uh, carry on Mr. Bowditch. There you go. It's a great one. Now, there was more here when I began to think and look and read into the background of this saying than, than I originally thought. And I knew that I wanted to cover it as soon as it came to mind. And yet, the more I looked, the more I saw. So, let's start by saying that historically, it seems that whether we're talking about the sailors who would actively participate in getting a ship from, let's say, Bristol, England, to another part of the world and then back, while that sailor was gone, it seems likely that the family back home on credit could continue to satisfy their need of finance on credit by saying, you know, my husband is away, let's say, uh, on X ship, and when he gets back, when my ship comes in, you know, I'll be able to restore everything back to you. I'll be able to pay for all of this. So that very well may have been the case. Also, as individuals, you could have purchased, you know, a share. You could have, by, by offering capital, by offering money, you could have purchased a share of the merchandise that was going to be bought or sold, etc. So just as someone who was not actively going on the trip, but that wanted to front capital, make an investment, that also there, the saying could apply, I'm, I'm waiting for my ship to come in. So historically, we have these, these scenarios to consider. What I believe that most people use this phrase today for is a much more, and not well-founded, hopeful saying. You know, as in, when my ship comes in, I'll get that that villa, I'll go buy this fancy car, I'll do this, that, or the other. So it's it's much more of a win the lottery scenario when someone says, I'm just waiting for my ship to come in. Whereas, historically, that was a very real and legitimate business or, or investment opportunity of the day. So there's, there's a lot to consider historically, but also I, I do think what... And, all right, so let's talk about the historical. There was a need for finance of the family back home while the breadwinner was away working on a ship. They could be gone for months at a time to be sure. So that need for finance was still there for the family back home. So that for sure correlates to... How Nelson would talk about our need for finance is much greater than our need for protection. So would it have been, see, insurance could enter here as, you know, it would be good to have an insurance uh, policy on such a, such a venture, and yet the need for finance showed itself back home. So I found that to be terribly interesting. And then also for the view of someone investing in a share of that ship's Profits or losses. Could be a profit or a loss, right? That's where I began to think of the beauty of owning a whole life policy that's a unilateral contract and appreciating asset. Guaranteed growth. Guaranteed compound interest will occur on a properly structured whole life policy that's with a dividend paying mutual company. You know, there are mutual companies that have been paying a dividend for well over 100 years. So talk about a respectable expectation. Now the dividend is not guaranteed, but again, over 100 years without interruption through world wars, pandemics, government shutdowns, depressions, recessions, I mean, fill in the blank, global conflicts. So the investment of buying a share into a ship's profit or loss merchandise uh, maybe doesn't have quite the same guarantees. And I realize that those are two different areas. Uh, believe me, I'm not trying to, to 
put investing right beside the banking function. They are two separate things. That's apples and oranges. On investments, the banking function still takes place. But the banking function also still takes place regardless of whether we're talking about an investment or buying a car. Because we do finance everything that we do. Either we're paying someone else interest or we're forfeiting the opportunity to have earned interest ourselves on our capital. So very interesting historical background. A word of caution, I think, on how that phrase may be used today against unfounded hope in my ship coming in. Just a word of caution. You know what that means to you. I know what I think of when I when I hear that phrase in that context. I really appreciate the historical context of the phrase. I've never looked into it so much, so I hope that it's been intriguing and interesting for you as it has been for me. If you have any suggestions on any quotes you'd like to see covered, let me know. Or to have a conversation about how to apply the infinite banking concept into your life, your business, your investing. You can reach me directly at 828-817-4223 or you can email durhamtalents at gmail.com. This has been a great pleasure for me to discuss this. Hope you have a great day. Take care.